Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm going to do something. This has to be, if it ain't in top five, I mean top three, it's in the top five. One of my mom's favorite dishes. That's when we go to Luby's, Why any cafeteria, go out to eat. Of course, she used to make it on her own. Fried liver and onions, now, not smothered. You ever been to Luby's and seen the liver and onions? This is one of my mom's favorites. It just, it just screams Sunday after after church dinner, right? So you have it during the week or whatever. I don't know when this video will come out. But I got some beautiful beef liver here. Actually, see this the liver I had processed. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of my meat out of the freezer, y'all, that I had processed here. See this? I had this processed last year, June 23rd, over a little bit a year ago. I had a calf process, and I got a lot of liver from it. And uh, let me show y'all what I have here. Let me show you this nice, beautiful liver here. Look at that. Look at that pretty liver, that calf liver. This is calf liver. You know this is tender. This ain't the cow liver. It's calf liver. It's just so much more tender. Look at this, y'all. Look at this here. Let me rinse this out. You can only rinse liver so many times, I guess, huh? So many times. So, anyway, uh, we're going to do, like I say, fried liver and onions. The first step I'm going to show y'all is very, very important. Very, very important. I'm going to put this liver back in this bowl. Back in here, just like this. It's very important, y'all watching me. Now, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm going to pour milk on there. It's very important. Pour milk on your liver and let it sit in this milk for at least two hours. At least two hours in the fridge. That's going to kill some of the bitterness of the liver. Of course, this probably don't have a lot of bitterness because it's a calf liver. But I'm not taking no chances because when I want my liver, I just want a certain alcohol amazing taste. Two hours. Soak it in milk, y'all. At least two hours. Take it out. We're going to dust it in flour. We're going to season it. Dust in flour, fry it for about maybe a minute on each side. Like I'm going to tell y'all, liver don't take long. If you cook liver till it's dull and gray, you don't overcook it. It's going to be tough and tasty. I like a little pinkness to my liver when I cook it. Uh, a lot of restaurants do that because you do it in most flavor. But before that, I'm going to saute some onions out. Caramelize really, really good. Hit it with a little sugar vinegar, give it that, bring that onion, like tangy taste out of it, or that love. This is a simple recipe, y'all, but it's so, so good. So anyway, we'll be right back here. I'm going to get these onions sliced up. We'll be right back, get them sauteed up. Let this liver sit in the fridge for a couple of hours, and we'll be ready, ready to eat. Old school fried liver and onions. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, I've been messing around, y'all. I've also been done sauteing these onions off. Look, the, uh... The liver is ready. I've had it in the refrigerator for two hours. I should have had these onions already cooked off. But I got busy doing something around the house here. You know, when you got a house, there's always something to do, especially in the summer. So anyway, I got a little oil in here. I'm going to also throw some butter in here, y'all, as well. And we're going to saute these onions off, get a good caramelization on them. And, uh, and then... Gonna let these cook down, y'all. I want a good, good, good caramelization on it because that's gonna go on top of the liver and onion. I don't know if you ever been to Louis or Wyatt's or one of them cafeteria spurs. That's probably one of their best sellers, especially on Sundays, y'all. It's liver and onion. So, anyway, I'm gonna cook these down, and once these cook down, I'm gonna take them out, put a little bit more oil and butter in here, and we're gonna cook off our liver. And it's going to be on, y'all. That's all I need. Me some liver and onions. Hey, make me happy, happy, happy. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Got these nice little caramelization here. Now, all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to put a little sherry vinegar in there. I like to put a little sherry vinegar in mine. I'm going to cook them down a little. Give it a little extra flavor to them. Not much vinegar, just a little. Look at that, y'all. 
some nice pretty onions. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these out of here and in the same skillet, turn these off. In the same skillet, I'm gonna, uh, hold on y'all, get my spatula here. Put these, take these bad boys off. That's some pretty old onions are, y'all. Liver and onions, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm curious. A lot of people don't like liver. I guess it's acquired taste. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But y'all didn't know how I feel about it. We we didn't throw away nothing on the cow hog, whatever. And we definitely use the liver up. So, anyway, I'm going to step off, get this kid all wiped up and cleaned up. And we're going to be back and do the liver. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, y'all. We're going to take the liver out of here, y'all. Put it right here on the plate. All I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to just put salt and pepper on here. That's all I'm going to do. We're going to put a little salt and pepper on here. I don't think it's all going to fit at one time. So we'll do a little at a time here. Get my salt and pepper here. Season both sides here. And this side here. There we go. I got my skillet heating up over here. We're gonna put in our bag with flour here. Like I say, just regular all-purpose flour is all I need for this. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy here, y'all. Get my, my bag back right here. Okay, let me move y'all over here. I think three at a time is going to be a, be the max right now. I definitely don't want to overcrowd my skillet. It's all dusted with flour. That's what I'm doing here, y'all, right now. Put it right in there. That's it. That's it, y'all. Watch them brown, like I say. It ain't going to take long on this, y'all. The liver don't take long at all. You do not want to overcook it. If anybody know that's been cooking liver a long time, if you overcook it, it's going to be tough. You're just going to ruin a good meal by overcooking it. Believe me. I want my liver well done. Da, da, da. Hey, if you want it well done, that's you. But it's not going to taste good. I like a little, just a little pink in mine, in my liver. Raise it up here and check it out on this side. A little bit more, y'all, and then we're going to turn it over. Then I got a uh, pan here with racks on it. I'm going to kind of finish in the oven, which I can cook it all the way off on here. But for time purposes, we're going to, uh, because I got two more to put in here. And I didn't want to overcrowd my skillet. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Goodness, right? Oh, my goodness, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, I'll be back when the last two come out. I got two more to put in. I'll be right back when they come out. All right, y'all, I got the last two pieces of liver here. I'm going to take it out of here, and I'm going to finish this bad boys in the oven. Because I got so many. See these? I'm put in the oven by maybe no more than 10 minutes, y'all, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this plate of liver and onions, y'all. Look at that. Look at that good old plate of liver and onions. Like I say, a little... Uh, 
Oh my God, I'm going in. I'm not talking. I'm not hesitating. We're going to go in with this, y'all. Oh my God, the onions on there. Like I said, I like my low pink in mine. Hey. Um, so tender, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. Mind me a little bit. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. My mom and dad was here. They both love living in Indian. They absolutely loved it. And I learned to love it. But what it is, you eat what you, what was cooked. One thing I like about this, you got the little saltiness of the liver, a little sweetness from the onion. Mm, mm, mm. So, it works so well together. Okay, mm -hmm. going in again. Y'all know I'm in my element. Mm. Well, anyway, y'all, <laughs> you can also take this, put in some beef stock, gravy, and smother it. I got a video on smother liver and onions as well. A little white rice. Hey, ain't no wrong with that either. So anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow all the social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, oldschoolsoulfood.com. And the hashtag 2024, stop wishing, start doing old school soul food. Till next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.